Hi, I'm Lindsay and this is your weekly news update from openmedia.ca. Last week's update, which focused on the enormous and growing power that big telecom is getting, did a number on some of you. Really scary things are happening in the Canadian media and telecommunications landscape. Yes, but we have taken some really huge strides forward together, so let's focus on that for a little while and, and, and get some energy back into fighting for the open and affordable internet. We're, we're still in a situation where it takes 600,000 Canadians to fight against a few big telecom lobbyists, but we are starting to win. It was especially noticeable in the usage-based billing hearings last summer that big telecom does not make a lot of information public. They've essentially been allowed to call a bunch of information about their pricing, confidential information, as they continue to price catch Canadians. All of that may be about to change. The CRTC is launching proceedings to determine what should be considered confidential information, and this can make all the difference in the fight against big telecoms price gouging in Canada. In addition to this, the CRTC is taking some strides forward uh, in getting the public interest represented in broadcasting. They're announcing something called a Broadcast Participation Fund, which in short will allow lawyers like our friends at CIPIC and PIAC to fight for Canadians' interests in broadcast proceedings. This essentially means that as big media gets even bigger, Canadians will actually have a fighting chance in, in pushing back against the influence of this big media lobby. Essentially, all of the outcry from the pro-internet community, the fact that the pro-internet community has grown significantly over the last couple of years to reach what is nearly 600,000 people strong, this has made a huge difference at the CRTC. Our regulators are taking notice, our policymakers are taking notice. A year or two ago, we wouldn't have believed that we could come this far and we are really excited to see where we're going to be a year or two from now. You've spread the word, you've engaged in the issues, and you've made it very well known that Canadians care about the possibilities of the open and affordable internet uh, and about a participatory media system in general. So we're making amazing progress. For the internet, this is Lindsay with your weekly news update, signing off.